Hello, everybody, and welcome. Tonight, NFL pick for week seven. I had a great week last week, so did Nate. Joe, not so much. And Matt Hazley of Straight Talk with Matt Hazley joins us in his picks. Might even join us on the channel. Who knows? Hey, NFL, let's bring back the sudden death overtime. How about it? Ties are like kissing your sister. Second hour, Shane Boucher of VetTix.com to talk about his organization that is giving back to the veterans, both active and retired. Plus, who is more zealous about religion, the hardcore Christians, the Muslims? Would you believe it might be those that don't believe in anything at all? All that, plus calls and tweets from the listeners. This is the Armed Radio Global Network. I'm Mike Allen, and you, you're on the air. da Firenze, Italia, Nesti Dante. Il sapone realizzato a mano, ispirato al bel paesaggio fiorentino e agli incantevoli profumi delle colline toscane. Splendidamente confezionato a mano in un'elegante carta fiorentina di ispirazione rinascimentale. Prodotto rispettando l'antica arte italiana della saponeria, grazie al metodo Coltron. Nesti Dante rimane una delle poche compagnie nel mondo che continua a tramandare il metodo tradizionale di saponificazione. Tecnica, creatività e ricerca si incontrano con la nobile antica arte italiana della saponeria. Sapone artigianale, di fama internazionale, sapone di lusso. Per maggiori informazioni visita il sito www.nestidante.com Whether building, expanding o remodeling, the name in site work is Savino Contracting. Experts in demolition, excavation, sewer and septic tank installation, and site prep. Get in touch on Twitter at Savino Contract or call 508-989-0960 or email to evsavino at yahoo.com. Savino Contracting has what it takes to get the job done. I stumbled upon a great new ebook website the other day that blew me away, and I thought you'd enjoy it as well. It's called ShebaBlake.com. In addition to the great variety of genres and titles, each ebook is only 99 cents. Whether you're a fan of drama, fantasy, nonfiction, poetry, romance, history, or something else, there's something for every reader, even young readers. Order your ebook in the downloadable format that works best for you today. Go to ShebaBlake.com. S H E B A Blake.com. Route 106 Motors is the home of fine pre-owned vehicles. Experience a no-pressure sale with a family-friendly atmosphere. Route 106 Motors has been practicing the same simple philosophy of low prices for over a decade, and it has brought us great success. Recently, while other dealers are closing their doors, Route 106 Motors is expanding. We are a wholesale dealer, and we own the property and pay cash for all the vehicles. This allows us to sell to the consumer for a lot less than the average dealership. We are a high-volume, small-profit dealer, and we pass the savings on to you. New changes have been made at Route 106 Motors. Stop by and check out our brand-new building. Route 106 Motors, located at 569 West Street. Check our website at Route106Motors.com and be sure to like us on Facebook to find out about all the latest deals and savings opportunities. Route106Motors.com Are you looking to buy prescription eyeglasses? Family owned and operated, iFramePros.com is your online store for prescription eyeglasses. Select the eyewear of your choice from our variety of frames, fill out the prescription information, and place your order in no time. After this quick and easy process, you'll receive your prescription glasses in a few days. All major credit cards accepted. Visit us at iFramePros.com. That's E-Y-E FramePros.com. See what you are missing. Hey, do you ever commit, have a problem saying no to your kids, your boss, and your relatives? 
That just might be why you're feeling stressed and out of balance. Go to CherylSaysNo.com. That's S-H-E-R-Y-L SaysNo.com. And learn for free six tips on how to say no without sounding fat or aggressive. Visit CherylSaysNo.com today. All right, welcome back to the show. Let's get it going, shall we? Last week, I rule on the NFL picks. Joining me on the Ring Central Celebrity Hotline, Joe Huggins is going to be joining me in about two seconds. Matt, uh, Matt. Hello. Hey, Joe. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Welcome on the Ring Central Celebrity Hotline. Let's get down to it because uh, I whooped your ass. I got whipped. I got whipped in my picks this week. You got smoked, dude. <laughs> you got smoked. <laughs> Let's go back and look, shall we? I got 12 right. Uh, my losses being I, I didn't pick. I thought the Bucks could ha- handle the Ravens. Of course, we all picked the Falcons. That was uh, the bad pick. And then yeah, uh, only Nate picked the Cowboys. So he had 12 wins. I gave the tie to everybody because that's just BS. So yeah, that tie, I, I texted you right after that tie happened, and I was like, I hate ties. Yeah, this they, is the they worst need thing to, ever. They need to bring, they need to bring back uh, sudden death. It's just pathetic. Uh, but, oh, yeah. But, it's, but Nate it's, and I both got 12, and you got 10 right. So. <laughs> It's like they always say, getting a tie is like kissing your sister. I'm like, kissing come on, your guys. Sister, like, really, man. this is a professional game. That's, yeah. End it. End the game. There should not be a third Keep column. going. Keep going this, until this somebody ho- wins. It's not It's not hockey. But it's not hockey. There's no ties. Yeah. Or soccer. Or, or soccer. soccer. I mean, in baseball, they just keep going. You just yeah, keep baseball. going. You don't tie. You just 15, 17, 20 innings. That's yeah, screw it, man. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Everybody can't go to school yeah. tomorrow. We're playing. Yeah, bottom <laughs> of the 58. Let's do this. Yeah, even Who's in college. Up? College, Who's they the line it up, man. <laughs> after two attempts, <laughs> after two tries, you got to go for the you gotta go for the touchdown. They're cutting out. All right, because I leaned over. Oh, okay. Uh, we got mosquitoes over here, dude. I got all my windows, and I opened my doors getting smart. I thought it'd be cold enough that the skeeters got in the house, and they bit my ankle, so I had to bend over and scratch. Texas, man. It's Texas. We're used to it. I know. Hey, well, these are little itty-bitty skeeters here. This, this ain't anything <laughs> like the Michigan skeeters that I got. But, uh, but yeah, that's last week. Uh, of course, you and, uh, you and Nate both jumped on the Bills bandwagon. I knew that wasn't going to last. I mean, New England's yeah, not I, I New England's to, not great. Yeah, New England's not great, but they're not. They're better than the Bills. Well, with losing lose, losing Ridley and losing OJ May, or sorry, not OJ Mayo. Why am I thinking basketball? Gerard Mayo yeah. is going to be really, 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 really big for the Patriots. That's scary. Yeah, it is. But they're still. But, a, but they find ways to win because they're a good team. So they're so oh, upper echelon. They're not so like they're the missing, Patriots of the old. They're the middle linebacker. So, I mean, that's... Yeah, they're not like the Patriots of the old, but you still can't bet against them. It's hard to bet against them. Of course, uh, you thought the Steelers were doing something. I know the Steelers are going to suck this year. They're probably going to go 500 or less. I don't know what they have going on in Pittsburgh, but uh, it ain't good. Whatever it is. It's, it's something really crappy in the water. It's, it, it ain't good. I mean, everybody's healthy, and they're just playing like crap. And the Browns... The Browns are just man. I, I told you I was my dark horse. I, I said at the beginning of the season, watch the Cleveland Browns. That's my dark horse. That's that's the that's the ones that are going to come in and wreck the party right there. And they're playing like it. They are playing I like mean, it, man. They're unhinged in Cleveland right now. You're breaking up again. Well, it's, I think it's you. I, I you got stuff in the. Is it me? Are you hold in a on. bar? I have. I'm. Hold on. Let me walk. I have headphones in because it makes it easier to hear you. No, oh, it's yeah, because it's coming through exactly. here, clear here. Uh yeah, I'm good now. I'm better. all right, all right. Uh, of course, the Bucks. Uh, yeah, I probably jumped too soon on that one, but uh, they're going to be good later. But they're not good right now, and we all did. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't see the Chicago Atlanta in Atlanta. I mean, Chicago played like they were possessed. 
Oh my gosh. Uh, why do I have such bad reception? Why do we have. Where, where are today? you, downtown? Are you at the ranch? No, no. The ranch is closed right now. I mean, I'm downtown, but I'm at my friend's house and I'm standing out in the street. Oh, because you got a lot uh, of well, background now noise. Now, now you're good. Now, now you're I'm good. good. Okay. This is, you know, I have weird. still got that iPhone? I got that Sprint, so that's the problem. Ah, oh, see, there sprint. you go. You got to get AT&T, <laughs> it's baby. <not> <laughs> it's, it's Sprint. It's Sprint. Then, of course, uh, Philadelphia took it to New York and, uh, you know, San Francisco at home. Or San Francisco. St. Louis just isn't negative. St. Louis is horrible. They're terrible. Yeah. They're, they're, I mean, they're terrible. They're just a line away from being mediocre, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah they're, they have they're no terrible. Line. It's, I feel bad watching anybody play quarterback for the Rams. And, they're and just you, terrible. And you Their know, line is so bad. It's it bad. doesn't make sense. And, and what's really bad is San Francisco is not much better. I mean, they barely won that game. Uh, I, and and I, San Francisco is in turmoil right now, and I'll tell you why. Harbaugh's going to Michigan. Oh, yeah, that's a done deal. Harbaugh's going to go back to his alma mater. I mean, that's- Harbaugh's going to Michigan. Hey, you guys can hate me. Everybody out there listening right now can hate me. I'm telling you, mark it in your calendars. Harbaugh will be on the sidelines at the big house next year. Period. That's that's well, like, like that, and he's already say, packing like, rumors, his he's already packing his somewhere. bags. Huh? Rumors come from somewhere. So if people are talking about them being unhappy, that's coming from somebody who's moderately reliable. It's not like somebody's making that up. Yeah, and it, it that's happening. That's gonna happen. The biggest surprise uh, well, the Jacksonville Titans game, we could have just flipped the coin on that one. And, uh, uh, I win Jags. I try to. I know. I, well, we flipped right. We got the Titans. But, you know, that's kind of one of those games where that's – for those teams, that's probably going to be one of their only wins this year because they're, they're bad. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, the but line – if you watch that Jaguars-Titans game, you can see what I'm talking about, about Blake Bortles. That, he's, he'll, he'll be he's there. Legit, like Bortles is the real deal. They got to build a team around him, though. Yeah, well, he doesn't have an offensive line. He got sacked like six times, but he was like twenty six to thirty nine or well, somewhere like high completion percentage. He completes all of his passes, and if he can complete passes in the NFL, like you can move an offense. Well, if and they, you can if, be good if they get him some protection in a running game. So yeah, I tell I you mean, what's going to Gerhardt and Storm Johnson is not going to cut it. No, the, You're it's like, just who not. Who? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Toby <laughs> Gerhardt and Storm Johnson. Yeah, that, don't let the name fool you. Storm Johnson is not as good as his name makes him no, out. No, he's not. He's he's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> he's good though. He's good. He's good, and he was Blake Bortles' college uh, teammate. So that also they have a little chemistry there. Yeah, but Bortles, I doubt it. Bortles I doubt went it. 32 for 46, 336 with a TD and interception and six sacks. Yep. Six sacks. You're not going to win getting sacked six times. Ask the uh, New York Giants about that. Actually, Bortles was the leading rusher. Oh, five I, rush- I, I, I believe it. <laughs> five rushes for 38 yards, average of 7.6 yards. The longest was 11 yards, no TDs. That's you know that's Mike. bad. That's bad when your when your quarterback is the leading rusher with thirty eight yards and you still win. How bad yeah. is the other team? <laughs> and he's completing such a high percentage of passes on that many attempts. You have you have lanes to run in. Like give it time. The Jaguars are on the rise. They're winning this week. They're winning this week. Uh, unless, they're, unless they're playing somebody really good. Then for, for the ten- not yeah, for the Tennessee Titans, it's uh, Whitehurst, 17 for 28, 223, got sacked three times. So he had a better offensive line. Bortles yeah. had a better pass percentage and better pass rate. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Well, here's something I wanted to talk about because you hate him and I hate him, and Nate, Nate's not here, so we're going to take advantage of the fact that uh, – uh, the time change on the uh, the show. Th- welcome to all the listeners who paid attention. We're probably going to get a bunch of listeners next hour. It's like, oh, the show's been on.